Hi friends! On New Year holidays I got presents. It was electric tools, the cordless drill, driver and angle grinder. Oh, this is very useful, but some problem. I put accumulator on charge at night and in the morning found that the battery pack is too hot. Of course this is abnormal and will reduce battery life and also can cause a fire. Having examined charger, I saw only a transformer rectifier inside. In the charging stand was bored with one transistor, which is responsible only for operation of the LED when battery pack inserted into the cradle. There was no process control unit and other power off scheme. This power supply will charge indefinitely and quickly will damage the batteries. Virtually all low-cost electric tools same charge system. Only expensive devices have intelligent process control and overcharge protection system in both units as charger and battery pack. I suspect that this is done on purpose so that the batteries quickly broke down and you will buy a new one. Market economy. I decided to remake it with adding voltage stabilization and limiting the charge current. The 18 volt battery pack is made up of 15 nickel cadmium 1.2 volt batteries with capacity 1200 milliamps per hour. Thus, effective charge current for it is 120 milliamps. It will charge for a long time, but safely. Knowing the full battery voltage will set the output voltage to that value and make device that on reaching the desired final voltage will reduce the charge current to zero. In addition, our current stabilization enable charging with fixed 120 milliamps, no matter how much the battery is low. Also, I will add a charging indicator which will blow out when the process is complete. The scheme is very simple, just two adjustable voltage regulator LM317. The first circuit works as a current regulator, the second is output voltage stabilizer. Since the current is less than 120 milliamps, the chips will not have to put on a radiator. Let's look how this works. Charging current flows through R1 and the voltage drop on it is sufficient to operate the LED. As the charge current in the circuit is reduced, the voltage drop on R1 is not enough for the indicator glow. Resistor R2 sets the greatest output current. I used 0.5 watt resistor, but also can be 0.25 watt. There are online programs to calculate the LM317 parameters. In my case, for current 120 milliamps, R2 equals 10 ohms. The second part is the threshold unit, which stabilizes the voltage. The output voltage is given by the selection of R3 and R4. This divider can be replaced by a multi-turn 10 kilo ohm resistor if you need fine-tuning. The output voltage on original charger was about 26 volt. I checked it on free VAT load. As I said before, nominal battery voltage is 18 volt and fully charged value is about 21 volt. So the output of our unit must to adjust the voltage to the range of 21 volt. Now begin assembly. It does not take a lot of time. Just one, two, three. Four. By the way, you can download the PCB on first link in the description. Let's test. Even with the short circuit output current not exceeded 130 milliamps, regardless of the input voltage, so current limit works properly. Now I mount new board on the stand. But first remove from the factory PCB. From factory PCB I took only the LED as a charging indicator. The output voltage is also within range. Now connect the battery pack. The LED lights up. A few hours later the lights went out. The battery was charged. I can confidently say that we have improved this charger. Battery pack is not warmed and most importantly there are no problem if you leave it on a stand. Because the device is automatically switched off. In addition, it is possible to replace bulky power transformer to the pulse power supply. Maybe I do that later. Now I say goodbye. With you as ever was Akka Kasyan. Have a good day.